All right, in this section, we'll talk about boomerang integration by parts. This is going to apply for integrals that are products of trigonometric functions and or exponential functions. So none of the logs, none of, none of the inverse trig. Um, in these cases, repeated integration by parts will almost bring us back to the original integral, not quite. Um, that seems like a problem because that new integral will not be simpler than the original one, but we can then use algebra to solve for our integral. All right, so let me do an example. Um, example 3.3.5, evaluate this integral right here. All right, so if you look at what I have, this first function is a trig, um, the second one is an exponential. So I am in the case where I have only t's and or e's. Right, so I know from what I just said here that I'm going to be using repeated integration by parts. So let me use my new fancy notation that saves me a bunch of time. All right, so my u, um, you could take either here. I mean, t and e are on the same level. I put t before e just because it pronounced, it created a better word, light, instead of light. But um, they're at the same level, so it doesn't matter. Same if you have two trigs, it doesn't matter which one you pick, um, but you just have to pick one. All right, so I need to differentiate or derive this part. I need to integrate that part. Uh, this is easy. Um, der derivative of cos is minus sine. And then um, because I have 2x inside, I'm going to get an extra 2 coming out. All right, um, in this method, I'm told to stop when you know the integral of the last column. Don't know it, so let's do it again. Uh, derivative of sine is cosine, and then I have a two that comes out from uh, the chain rule, so I get minus four. All right, um, now if I look at this, I have cosine 2x e to the x, cosine 2x e to the x. I claim that I know it. I don't know the answer, but I know it. It's almost, it's minus four times the integral I started with. And so I'm going to stop. So here, this is almost what I had at the start. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to write what I have and we'll see if we can't make it work. So I'm told to take these diagonals with alternating terms and then this integral and I have plus minus so I'm going to have another plus. So I get cosine 2x e to the x minus minus sine 2x e to the x plus the integral of minus 4 cos of x e to the x dx. All right, let me pull out the 4 so that we could see what we have. So my i is equal to all of this. And then I have minus 4 cos of x e to the x dx. That right here is i. So I have i equals to some function minus 4i. Right, so that's the moment where algebra will help us. I'm going to send this to the other side. I'm going to put all the i's on one side. And then I'll isolate for i. All right, a bit strange, but it works. All right, so I'm going to send the minus 4i to the other side. So let me rewrite it one more time. Cosine 2x e to the x plus 2 sine 2x um, e to the x minus 4i. So if I send it to the other side, I get i plus 4i. That's 5i. That's equal to cosine 2x e to the x plus 2 sine 2x e to the x. 
All right, so I'm getting 5i right here. And so if I just want i, I'm going to divide both sides by 5, and I'll get cosine 2x e to the x plus 2 sine 2x e to the x over 5. All right, I can hear you guys screaming at me. What about the C? What about the C? Maybe not in exactly that voice. Um, I've actually omitted the C for now on purpose. The C's are a tiny bit subtle here. Um, I want a plus C at the end, right? I always get a plus C at the end. Um, up to this point, I don't need a plus C on either side because I have an integral on the left and I have integrals on the right. So right here, I'm still okay. This is the step where I need a plus C. But notice that it's not the same plus C as that one because I'm going to be dividing by 5. And so here, I'm just going to put plus C1, right? A different plus C than the one I'm finishing with because here, I'm going to be dividing by 5. And so if you want, that C is C1 divided by 5, but no need to keep track of it, just call it a different C. Right? And so this right here, that's the answer. All right, so I will do one more in class, and then on the worksheet you'll have more as well.